Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is a story we talked about uh, many months ago, and it uh, of course involves Chromium, but Google Chrome specifically, and it has to do with the fact that extensions are going to change, and we talked about it that there is something called Manifest V2. Ma a manifest in the extensions is simply a set of rules things that extensions can and cannot do in a browser. And of course, we were on Manifest V2. Google uh, wanted to have Chrome go on its newer Manifest V3. The Manifest V3 um, had a lot of issues because what happened is a lot of companies and a lot of people started saying, well, you know, the Manifest V3 limits so much the extensions that some are saying it's the end of ad blocks in Google Chrome. So Google took it off and worked on it and relisted the new set of rules, which are more relaxed, which means it's not the end of ad blocks, but there are things in ad blocks that will stop working. So um, this means that everything that is an extension will, have, will need to abide by the Manifest V3 rules. And now we know a timeline for this. So what's the timeline? The timeline is going to be that starting in June, if you have extensions that are Manifest V2 but not compatible V3, you will get a pop-up from time to time telling you, well, you know, we're starting to deprecate the Manifest V2, so those extensions will eventually stop. In July, August, you actually will have these extensions automatically blocked. Now, what that means is that you'll be able to go to your extensions and make them work again, but they're going to work only for a certain amount of time. So that will be the second step. And by the end of the year, all Manifest V2 extensions will stop working and will be removed from the browser. So that means that by the end of the year, it's Manifest V3 extensions only. Uh, we'll see how that impacts the different uh, you know, extensions people use, especially if some people use ad blockers, up to what point that will affect ad blockers. The other thing, also is that you um, the, the the manifest v3 will be moved on on the chromium and to other chromium based browsers and from what we learned today uh, because there's a lot of when we when i posted that first video on the chromium uh, extensions and the manifest v3 that could break ad blockers um, a lot of people came back and said, you know, Brave said that they were going to stay on V2. There will be browsers that are going to keep V2 for a certain amount of time. But from what we see is that every browser was going to move to V3 at some point. The only one that will not is um, Firefox, which is not a Chromium browser. Uh, they will stay on V2. But for the rest, um, it is pretty much... Um, given that every browser, including Brave, will move on to V3. Uh, maybe they kind of doze things enough that even Brave is going to be like, yeah, okay, well, we'll accept those rules. Uh, but we'll see. And uh, that's coming in the next uh, six months. It's the uh, end of Manifest V2 for Chromium browsers and Google Chrome particularly. So we'll see. Um, another thing here, because that what makes me curious here is depending on how it affects the extensions that people use and like, could he if could that affect uh, could that affect the market share of Chrome? Could we see a drop in market share from Google Chrome? Could we see a rise in Firefox because they will stay at V two, which means we'll you know have the same rules that we have actually right now. This is going to be interesting. I mean, these are the kind of things that sometimes can swing, you know, the balance from one browser to another. One thing for sure, it's not going to swing the balance to any other Chromium browser because they're all going to eventually be like that. So the only browser that has um, a positive outlook due to this change really is Firefox. It's the only browser that will have that change 
actually um, make it positive. So we'll see what happens. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.